Hello and welcome to this course on Cloudera Data Platform. My name is Sajish and this video we will take a look into Yarn service in CDP. So you can see some changes has introduced in Yarn. So mainly the default uh, scheduler they are using and an additional component which helps us to configure the queues. So let's take a look into that. So I'm using the Cloudera version 7.14 and the Cloudera manager version also 7.14. This is the version I'm using. And you can see the post installation uh, warning. So if you go and read this, so this is saying like, so its capacity scheduler is configured and it's recommending us to use a new service called Yarn Queue Manager. Okay, so we will see what is Queue Manager and how we can use. So first let's go to the configuration and see what is the default scheduler is used in CDP and uh, go to the configuration and search with the scheduler option. Okay, so once this is loaded, so we can search with the, the scheduler. So here type scheduler and uh, it will give you the default scheduler it's using. See, this is capacity scheduler class. So if you change this class, your scheduler will automatically change. I think this option you might have already seen in the previous version. So you can choose whatever the scheduler you, you want to choose. So it support FIFO, fair share and capacity. So the capacity scheduler is the default scheduler available in CDP. In the previous version, CDH, it was using fair share scheduler. <laughs> and uh, you can see the scheduler uh, resource calculator class also. This is something like uh, the dominant resource calculator, which will take care or which will consider CPU as well as a memory. But the default resource calculator will consider only memory. So you can see uh, here and uh, read that in detail. And the next is, even though we are not using the queue manager, so you can configure the queues. Okay, so this is same as like the normal capacity scheduler configuration. So you can see we have a root queue and under root queue, we have a default queue and it's, it's given 100% capacity. So we can edit this file to add new queues. So let's see the resource manager UI and go to the scheduler section. You can see the kids we use the capacity scheduler and whatever the queue available and its capacity and the details so currently we have only uh, i mean the default queue available under root uh, since it's a capacity scheduler it follows a hierarchical uh, naming convention so everything will be under root so we have only default so i'm just going to create another one more uh, queue here so i can just add comma a b c just a dummy queue and uh, uh, capacity root capacity 100 that is fine so i need to add uh, this line okay so this is for default similarly for abc i need to add this entire line again okay so let me just expand this little bit and uh, instead of default i need to add abc and its capacity so we cannot be 100 because so all together i mean whatever the queues under root all together added and should get a number uh, 100 say for example let let me just make this as 60 and abc as 40 so that means out of total resources so 60 percentage capacity for a default queue and 40 percentage capacity for abcq so i can add the remaining or uh, more parameters like the maximum capacity and uh, available capacity etc so currently i'm just adding the very minimal properties so whatever the properties you need to find out and add it so we can save this and uh, once this is saved so we may just need to uh, restart or uh, restart or refresh uh, the yarn service okay so you can add some reason okay so it will be updated so once this is updated so we can just see uh, the services yeah 
so you can see this icon definitely it's taking some time to update this thing so now back to the yarn uh, service you can see this option so you just need to click here to refresh that so that the uh, whatever the changes we added you can see the plus means whatever the changes we added and minus means whatever the things it's going to remove from this configuration file so i'm going to refresh this so maybe it take a moment to update this configuration and once this is updated i will get the new queue name listed here so if everything works perfectly so it will go without any error so i have to wait till this finish I think uh, this is almost done. Let me just back to here, click on the scheduler so you can see the queues. Okay, so we have ABC, and uh, if you expand that ABC, so you can see ABC has the capacity of 40, and uh, if you go to the default, which is having the capacity around 60 percentage okay so this is how you can configure the queues okay you can add new um, i mean uh, queues in into your configuration by editing that file okay so we have uh, one more option available so that will let you to do all these configurations with the help of some graphical tool so that is called yarn queue manager so we will be discussing about a yarn queue manager in the next video. Thank you for watching this. We will see in the next video. Bye.